Well, hello, folks. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to guide you to a better place. To a better place, folks. To a better place. So part of today's video is going to be an exercise that's going to take you on a journey. It's going to take you on a journey. We're going to explore the depths of your mind. We're going to have a little bit of fun and maybe open up a realm that you didn't previously know about. Or maybe you did. Maybe you just needed permission. Maybe you needed the key, the key to the uh, to the magic place. So that's what we're going to do today, folks. So we're going to talk about... Um, we're going to talk about you feeling better and you focusing. So for those of you that are returning and know my content, you'll know that I talk about the wake up call for healers. For healers, we're going to wake up. I'm here to help you to wake up, help to heal the healer. So I'm here to facilitate the journey of those that like to help others. Because what I found on that journey is those that like to help others are usually pretty bad at helping themselves. And we've talked about if you don't understand the energy techniques that we teach here, then most healers um, take on an energetic weight, which can translate into actual weight, which is why a lot of healers are overweight. So we've talked about the, this dynamic. Today, we're just going to refocus your mind. This is just a little jolt out of whatever reality you're in at the moment to just open up your mind to a different place, to a different possibility, to a different set of circumstances which can make you feel better and put you in a better place. So if you want some of that, folks, if you'd like a dose of that action, then stay tuned, get comfortable and relaxed. So these techniques work better if you've got a aligned spine, if you're sat upright and if your feet are flat on the floor. Now, they're not essential. This is just about posture. Good posture um, aligns aligns us it amplifies the energy of these exercises but it's by no means um, an essential you can do this lying down you can do this relaxed you can do this in any position you like but i'm just going to stack the deck to amplify the energy of this exercise so today i'm going to take you on a little journey and how far you want to go depends on you because you have to give yourself permission to allow yourself to open the depths of your unconscious mind, your subconscious mind, to give you insights into your life, which you currently need. So we're going to do a little exercise. It's not going to take very long. And the amount that you get out of this will be directly dependent on how much you put into it. So the more you can relax and let go and trust yourself to be guided to a better place, the better it will be at the end. And it's like anything, what I'm going to give you today is a map. Now, whether you use that map, well, that's, that's yours. That's in your call. I can give you the map. Today, we're going to get the map. Um, what you do with it, that's down to you. So... The purpose of today is to guide you in a better direction, to give you a better life and to give you the insights and the answers to the questions that you've been searching for. So the first thing you're going to do, like anything on my exercises, you're going to ground yourself. If you know how to do it, do it. If you've got your own way, do it. If you don't know what it is, just imagine a ball of energy at the center of the earth and a cord of light going up and connecting to the base of your spine. Now, just feeling that connection will ground you. And another reason why we ground ourselves is so that we can offset, we can, we can capture the energy of the planet that we find ourselves on, and we can offset anything that isn't working. Our grounding cord is our connection with all things that are in this reality. So we ground ourselves. The next thing you're going to do is deepen your breathing because your breathing controls your mood. And the deeper you breathe, the 
better you feel. Now, if you feel guided to close your eyes, do so. Because visualization can be a big part of this exercise. But it's up to you. Do whatever you're comfortable with. And relax. And you relax more by breathing deeper. Now we're going to go on a journey. I want you to imagine walking down a river, along a river. I want you to notice the flow of the water. I want you to notice the feel of the grass and you're walking barefoot so you can feel it between your toes, walking along the river. You're going to feel the flow. You're going to go on the journey. You're going to walk down the banks. You're going to feel the sun on your head. You're going to feel relaxed. You're going to feel nature. You're going to feel connected. You're feeling that now. And as you walk along this riverbank, you notice there's a hill and there's a set of steps that are leading you down towards a beach and the river turns into a waterfall and as it trickles next to you you notice some steps and you walk down to the beach and count the steps as you go down, one step at a time. One, two, three, four, going further down, five, six, feeling the heat on your head, hearing the trickle, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, going deeper and deeper and deeper into relaxation as you get closer to the sand. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, going deeper and deeper, feeling more relaxed. Five more steps left. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then you get down to the sand, feel the sand between your toes. You walk along the beach and notice that there's a cave. You walk towards the cave. As you walk in, you notice there's an incredible crystal cave. Sparkling crystals around you, feeling energized, restoring your energy. Giving you insight. And in that cave, it's your spirit guide. Your spirit guide has a message for you. The message of which will propel you forward with whatever you need to do right now. And you can ask your spirit guide any question you have and notice their answer. You may get an answer. They may just hand you a message for you to open later. Either way, it doesn't matter. Any questions you've got, any insight, any healing that you may need, now is your time.
notice the energy filling up your body. The spirit guide puts her hand on your shoulder and they give you a message, one specifically designed for you to propel you on your path. The answer to the question or questions that you've given them is in this healing, is in this script. You may get the insight now, or it may be planted for you to open later on, the awareness of which will be downloaded when the time is right. Feel white light going through your body. Feel the energy of the hand of your guide go through you. Feel the energy filling you up restoring you and revitalizing you for whatever purpose you came there for. Now you're going to give the spirit guide a hug. Feel their energy go through you. You're going to thank them you're going to walk out of the cave, back onto the beach. And as you walk across the beach towards the steps, you're going to feel how differently you feel now. You're going to notice the insight that you now have. And you're going to restore your energy as you feel the sand squelching through your toes. the sun on your head, the sound of the water trickling down, energizing you. As you reach the steps, going to walk back up one at a time, 20, 19, 80, 17, 16, 15, noticing the trickle of the water next to you, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, feeling the sun in the back of your neck feeling the energy of the water trickling down next to you. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, seeing the banks of the river the beach behind you, looking back down behind you at the cave and the journey that you've just been on and knowing that you have this resource whenever you need it, that you can visit this cave of insight anytime you want. And as you walk back along the bank of the river with your new insight, you can come back into your body and back into this room right now. And you can open your eyes if you haven't already. And take whatever insights you have with you. Now, you may have got some direct insight. You may have planted a seed for insight to drop into you later on. Either way, it's okay. Trust the process. Trust the process that your spirit guide has your back and that you will get insight into whatever it is you need, whether it's a question, whether it's something that you need to look into. Just be over aware 
of things that happen in the next day. Everything happens for a reason and insight will come to you when the time is right. Be receptive, be open and be a sponge for the assistance that you will get from your guides, folks, from your guides. Now, it's not necessary for you to believe any of the stuff that's just happened. It might be a lot of nonsense, but I want you to stay open-minded, folks, open-minded, because what we've done today in this exercise is set what's called your reticular activating system. And as healers and empaths, we attract problems in other people's worlds. This is about resetting you to get what you want. Asking the questions that will lead you to a better place. Getting the insights that will give you a better life. Asking what your purpose is for. Attracting people into your world that can help you. And it all starts with the right intention and that exercise. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had a very relaxing session and I hope that you've taken a lot out of this. And stay open, folks, stay open, because if you didn't get the insight during this, then the next 24 hours are going to be critical. Be open-minded, look for insight, look for answers, and be very tuned in to what comes through, because there's going to be some gold there for you, folks. By all means, leave your questions, your comments, your insights on this thread. And if you're still watching this and you haven't liked and subscribed to this video, please do subscribe to the channel because I'll be drip feeding insights to help you, my fellow healers, light workers, and empaths to uh, restore your own energy and to give you the tools and support along your journey to make life a little bit easier for you. So there you go, that you've had your little dose of insight today. Um, I wish you well, and I wish you to have a fabulous rest of your day.